Welcome to 3D Printing News. I'm your host, Mike, and every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time, I do my best to keep you up to date with the latest in 3D printing or pretty much anything I find interesting. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this week's episode. So first things first, guys, I do hope everybody had a fantastic holiday, a fantastic Christmas. I hope it was filled with loved ones. You got to do everything you wanted. You had a good holiday dinner. Whatever you do, I hope everything went well for you guys. And I, I truly appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in every single week. I'm super thankful for that. And now we head towards 2026 with New Year's right around the corner. But it wouldn't be New Year's without some additional 3D printers coming out. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So we actually had an official tease for the Elegoo Centauri Carbon MMU, and it was the same thing that's kind of been posted before, but this was an actual video. So again, it was posted by Owen. He does work for Elegoo. It does say he's in charge of Elegoo support. He posted a quick 30 second clip here on Reddit. I'm just gonna post the screenshot. I will have the link to the post down below where you can go ahead and check out the video. And he did actually post like a screenshot in the Elegoo Discord. I covered it in the 3D printing news a couple weeks back and it was just a screenshot again of the Centauri Carbon just doing that four piece multicolor system thing they got going on here. So this is where it's like really confusing. They're showing this again and yes, he shows a full 30 second clip and he's saying, hey look, Merry Christmas. This is a Christmas surprise, but like it's been so long for this Centauri Carbon. How much is this going to cost? The one thing that does get confirmed here is that they actually have some sort of working unit or somewhat working unit at least for this Centauri Carbon. And I do think it kind of proves at least it's been in development. It's been working. I mean, why would they go through the trouble to make this look fake? Um, but Again, like we do get to the point where there's so many 3D printers coming out. They have multicolor functionality right out of the box. Like, do you actually, or is it going to be worth it to buy the multicolor add-on for the Centauri Carbon? Because can you fully enclose it? There's a lot of questions we still have, and I think that would have been a better Christmas surprise, at least to me, right? We do also have confirmation that some content creators have actually received their Centauri Carbon too. So if you actually go to some of these content creators, there was a screenshot or at least a picture posted with a Centauri Carbon 2 in the background. So that's where it's like this dilemma, right? Do you just save up for a Centauri Carbon 2? Do you go with a different brand altogether? Or do you actually now go ahead and buy the multi-material unit system or multi-material system, whatever they're calling it, I think it's called the MMU, for the Centauri Carbon? I, if it was me and I was in the position, I personally would probably save up for a whole new 3D printer altogether, but that's just me and that would be my recommendation. But if you like your Centauri Carbon, I can see where you're like, okay, maybe I'll just splurge for this, but we don't even know the price yet. So it really just depends on the price of this system. And now I don't really have anything further to add other than that, where I'm hopeful for everybody who's waiting for this. Hopefully it comes in at a good price and hopefully it's everything you wanted. Me personally, I just have so many other printers. It's not worth it for me to buy it. Again, I always say I'm open to trying any brand. I don't hold grudges as far as things. I just like to make people aware of things going on. If I were to get one, I would definitely try it out and do all of that. But like, again, I don't see a point in me going out of my way to buy this system when I have a P1S combo or I have a Bamboo Lab A1 combo and I have an H2S combo. Like, there's just no point in me buying this one. But let me know what you guys think. Is this something you would actually pick up. So talking about 3D printers with multicolor capability right out of the box, the Cobra X was actually officially announced or at least given an official price. So you can do the same thing that any has been doing. You can put a $10 pot deposit down and it turns into $30. Now there has been some interesting things in the listing for the Cobra X that I wanted to point out. Now, first off, it does come in at $259 if you are going to put that $10 deposit down. But additionally, this, this is what I find that looks pretty interesting. It says, Purge length is decreased by 81.25%. What is this actually, like, is it, they're saying it's speed wise, like what, what does this mean? Same thing, shorter distance between filament color and nozzle. I think that does count for the speed and less purge. 
But if you look in the bottom left here, it actually shows the Cobra X taking eight hours and 40 minutes compared to other printers. Like we don't know what that other printer is. So I wouldn't necessarily run with that, but there still looks to be like a sizable amount of purge. I would have thought with like this new multicolor nozzle type thing they got going on, maybe it does have less purge, but it does, it, it, I mean, I guess, significantly less purge. I guess I don't know what I was thinking it would be, but it does appear to be faster and at least less purge than I'm assuming maybe that's like an A1 pile, maybe. We don't really know, but I guess time will tell. And I have asked to receive this unit and I believe I should be getting one. So I'll be able to test that, test it in comparison to the real Bamboo Lab A1 that I feel like it's kind of a clone of. And we'll see which one performs better. I mean, my A1 has 1500 hours on it, but again, I love that thing and it runs like it's brand new. So again, this one is available now where you can go ahead and put that $10 deposit. And just as a friendly reminder, Anycubic also did want me to let you guys know that the Photon P1 is available for Kickstarter as it stands right now. There actually has been over a million dollars actually already contributed to their Kickstarter. So it looks like 1,459 back as of the time of recording this video and 45 days still to go my video taking a look at that 3d printer will actually be live tomorrow morning and lastly Creality posted this a little teaser again kind of teasing their new 3d printer that we already had a leak for the spark x i7 kind of seems like it's going to be some sort of ai powered printer um some sort of multicolor same thing, all this multicolor stuff is coming out. And that's where, again, I say, is it worth it to even pick up the Centauri Carbon multi-material system? You got the Cobra X you can pick up for 259. If the multi-material system for the Centauri Carbon comes in at like $150, for literally like $110 more, you could have another 3D printer. And that's where I'm saying like, this kind of stuff is getting cheap, but we have now the Creality Spark XI7. As far as the Spark X, I believe some content creators have actually received this already. I am not one of them, but I guess we shall see what Creality is coming out with here. I, it's always, again, I, I do say, and I think I've been pretty consistent with this, with Creality coming out with so many 3D printers, it's kind of hard to keep up, like, honestly, like, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion opinion on this but now we have a new line called the spark x line so are you looking forward to that guys i mean i'm always interested to see new 3d printer technology and what it may offer is it cutting down on waste and it's a different solution than what bamboo lab prusa and all of them have come up with so outside of that guys that was the 3d printing news for this week again i hope you guys had a happy holiday yes yesterday or yes, yesterday as of when this video goes live. And on top of that, thank you to all my members, of course. Again, guys, I truly appreciate everything you guys do by watching the videos, liking the videos, hitting that subscribe button. We were so close to hitting, or we are so close to hitting 10,000 before the end of the year. It would kind of take a miracle for me to hit it at this point, but that was my long shot goal. And again, I greatly appreciate every single person tuning in every single week, watching the 3D printing news. I don't know what I I'd be doing without you guys probably some sort of boring uh the, the hobby anyway but with that being said guys again thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day